In a horribly distracted world when we are constantly bombarded by notifications from social media, emails, the ability to focus is almost like a superpower for any PhD student and a researcher. It will allow you to write way more and enjoy your work so much more because you will be in the zone. You will be in this elusive state of flow that gives you happiness and satisfaction and allows you to produce way more papers for way better journals. So in this video, let me talk quickly about how to focus and give you four key tips that you can implement right now to focus more and write more papers for better journals. If you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkovek and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish papers in top Scopus Index journals. First of all, never open your email box in the morning, period. Or never check any messaging apps, for that matter, either in the morning, period. And um, Just don't, ever. Whenever I do it, my whole morning is gone because what happens is that you start seeing all these messages and all these people vying for your precious attention and you will start you, you just kind of think well i'll just answer one email but that takes you 10 15 minutes and then you see another email or another message that seemingly needs your immediate attention and you start answering that as well please don't uh, schedule answering emails just before or after the lunch break or at the end of your day, preferably. And if you're worried, well, what will people in my university think if I don't answer emails? Well, consider this. What message is so important that it needs your immediate absolute attention right in this very moment? Almost none, unless there's a fire in the building and you need to run out and hopefully there isn't, okay? We have this delusion that messages and emails need to be answered instantly, but they don't. Think back 20 or 30 years. When, when I went traveling for the first time, um, I, went to, I went to Mexico and I spent three months traveling around Mexico. And at that time, um, I didn't have a smartphone. Smartphones didn't exist. And you had to go to an internet cafe and use the computer there to call your family or send an email, right? There wasn't wireless internet everywhere. And what happened was that, you know, I would get an email from my parents and maybe I would answer it five days later and everybody was fine with it. Like it wasn't like the world would collapse. So you can do the same as well and it will do wonders for your focus, I promise you. Never answer emails in the morning, schedule them, for end of the day, for half an hour every single day. Number two, clarify your priority in minute detail. So what you need to do is the day before, you need to write down what is the number one task, your number one goal for tomorrow. And you need to write it in minute detail. So don't write something like, I need to write my paper. I need to read the literature. That's not a goal. Try to make it a smart goal, so specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound. So for example, uh, your goal for tomorrow could be to read um, 10 papers uh, in order to find the research gap in the first one hour of your day between 9 and 10 a.m. And then between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., your goal is to write um, 300 words of your introduction to your systematic review. Okay? That could be a goal and you must set it before, write it down and then when you get up in the morning, when you start your work day, you open your notebook or whatever you wrote down your goals, you look at it and then you do it. And this further allows you to avoid distractions because the worst thing that you can do is just come to your office, open your laptop and think, yeah, what am I supposed to do today? I, there's a lot of things I know I have to do. I have to read, I have to write, I have to check papers, I have to write the grant proposal, uh, talk to my students and all these different things. And then your brain starts immediately thinking and, and trying to decide well, what is the most important thing? What should I do today? And then you feel overwhelmed and whatnot. Don't do it. Plan the day before and write down what you need to do in order of priority and when exactly you're going to do it. And then block it in your calendar so that other people cannot hijack your time. 
put it in your calendar like you would put a meeting with your supervisor or with a student just put it block it off in your work google calendar just write down writing papers two hours 8 a.m to 10 a.m so that nobody can book a meeting with you now tip number three is just keep one tab open one window open um, you don't want to have 50 windows open it's incredibly distracting so if you want to focus just have one window open no additional icons on your desktop you don't need them just do one thing and finish it because also a big principle of, of focus is how you do the small things and how you do everything else in your life um, bleeds into how you focus or how you're not able to focus so if normally you scroll between 20 different windows you're going to find it so much more difficult to focus and there's tons of research that clearly shows that doing one thing at a time for extended periods of time is not only beneficial to focus but it's highly much more highly productive than multitasking so just keep one thing at a time open do it finish it close it and move on to the next thing and then number four is reward yourself right make it fun uh, for yourself how you reward yourself well it depends on you i don't know what you like but you can reward yourself with um, a ticket to the cinema you can reward yourself with an ice cream or with extra time with your son or with your daughter or with your loved ones whatever it is that you enjoy doing once you've accomplished your task give yourself some rewards so that you can train your brain to do the difficult thing because otherwise it will just become a chore to write and you will hate it so at the end of something difficult like a, a two-hour writing session give yourself a reward now if you would like mine and my team's help to write and publish papers in top scopus index journals then schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation we'll sit down with you for 60 minutes and chat in a lot of depth about your needs, your challenges, your goals, and then together come up with a plan that helps you write and publish papers regularly so that you can become an authority, get tenure, and advance your academic career. And the link to that free one-to-one -one consultation is right below this video.